Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how do we analyze the categorical data. So specifically, we are going to see how do we generate descriptive statistics and the graphs for categorical variables. So normally when we are working with categorical variables, we are mainly interested in uh, in the frequencies, uh, in percentages, um, the, the count of the data, the count of the different categories, or we are interested in the bar charts or the, or the pie charts. So this is what we are going to discuss in this video and see how do we uh, generate these uh, statistics, these descriptive statistics and graphs uh, using Stata. So mainly, uh, uh, if we click on statistics tab, so, so before that, let me show you the data. This is the questionnaire data that we had been using with our previous videos uh, where we work with uh, with questionnaires. You would remember we have serial number, occupation, age, gender, and a couple of questions. If I show you it in the data view, you would see we have uh, already labeled them and we have the the, the the values uh, or label values for each um, for each question okay so mainly we would be working with this uh, summary statistics we click on statistics summary statistics then within summary statistics we have this frequency tables remember when we are working with categorical variables we uh, the, the, the statistics that we, we are interested in is in uh, frequency distributions or frequencies. Um, so, so we have a couple of options. Uh, we have five options over here. And out of these five options, we would, uh, we would cover the first four options in this video. And but maybe later on, we would, uh, we would see how uh, this table calculator would work. But for now, in this video, we are going to cover these four. Um, so when we work with uh, with categorical variables, we have to generate tabulations, right? So we have a one-way tabulation or two-way tabulations. So uh, we either generate one-way tabulation. In one-way tabulation, we 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 generate a category, a frequency distribution uh, of a single variable, or uh, right? In in multiple uh, or two week tabulation, we generate a, a tabulation for different uh, different variables. So let's start with the one way tabulation. Uh, the the simple command is tabulate, and then we write the variable name. So if we tabulate occupation, we would know that we have three categories within uh, occupation, um, and twenty four percent of the. Uh, the, the the observations that we have are salaried person and 42 are our students we also have the cumulative uh, just, uh, the the cumulative percentages and the frequencies we know there are 50 observations in our data set so this tells us that within the occupation variable we do not have any missing value similarly we can tabulate the gender variable so again this is a one way tabulation we are only generating a, a table based on the categories of just one variable uh, or we can tabulate uh, through a, a single question so we have different categories or different uh, you know it is a liquid scale for question one uh, either a person would uh, str strongly disagree disagree or uh, would strongly ex agree so these are five different categories uh, in this but if we wanted to generate a tabulation for all these variables uh, for multiple variables it would be you know we would have to write three um, three commands but let's just say we wanted to generate uh, one way tabulation uh, you know all these uh, these uh, single tables that we just generated but using a single command then we would use tab one so we write the tab one then all the variables that we want so I have also added Q4. We just uh, hit run and it has generated the one way uh, uh, tabulation, right? For for each of the uh, of the variables. So in essence, uh, what it is doing, it is running the, the same tabulation command 
four times for each variable. So if I wanted to do this uh, individually, then I would have to write four tablet commands. The way it can be used from the menus is we click on statistics, then assembly statistics, frequency tables. And if you wanted to generate a one way tabulation, you would click on this option and give the name of the uh, variable that we want. We hit submit and it would generate the one way tabulation. Uh, this was the simple, simple, uh, simple uh, tabulate command. If you wanted to have um, uh, multiple one-way tabulations, the the tab one command that we just saw, uh, this is the option that we can use. We would select all the categories or sorry, all the variables that we want. Hit OK and it would generate uh, the tables that we want. Okay. From uh, this analysis, from this table, we would notice that all the variables have 50 observations, but uh, instead this Q4 would have 40 observations. We would want to know how many missing values are there and we want to adjust these percentages according to those missing values. So currently it is generating these percentages with respect to the valid responses. See, we have these valid responses, but we also want uh, but instead of this, we want to have percentages uh, that would also, you know, account for the, the missing values. So we use uh, this uh, tab one uh, in, instead of having all these categories, sorry, all these variables we just want are interested in Q4. We would have probably written tabulate, but uh, it's the same thing. Uh, tab one for only one variable is essentially tabulate command. We introduce the missing option. So if we execute this command, we would see that uh, it is somewhat similar to this one. But now we have a, a row for the missing observations and these percentages are adjusted with respect to you know, now with respect to this total number of observations, rather than the valid responses. Now, uh, we have started this discussion of valid responses and, uh, you know, percentages with respect to uh, uh, total number of observations. It, uh, there, there is a user written command, which is called FRE. If you haven't installed it, you can simply write SSC install FRE because I have already installed it. So I wouldn't uh, execute this command. That's why I have commented it out. So what this free would do, it was provide uh, the percentages of valid responses. So in addition to this table, it would give us additional uh, statistics. So let's execute this because Q1 and Q4 have missing observations. So I'm just uh, executing this command for the Q1 and Q4 variable. Now we have this for the Q1 variable and this for the Q4 variable. Uh, the difference that you would uh, see is uh, although for Q1 we didn't had missing values, so this table is essentially similar to the table that we had with the tabulate command, but this would be different. Here we would have the missing uh, observations, we would have percentages, uh, you know, accounting for the missing observations, so percentage with respect to this 50, uh, the same that we generated, you know, uh, using the missing uh, option. And then we would have these percentages with respect to the valid responses, the table for Q4 that we generated without using the missing uh, missing option. So you have got, uh, you know, the uh, both the, the values uh, by just executing the one command. The one more thing that I like about this, this free command is that uh, the, the tablet command would just give you the, uh, the value labels, it wouldn't give you the, the, the numeric values, right? But with the free command, it would give you both, right? And sorted based on the, the numbers. So it is kind of more, uh, you know, easy to uh, analyze, easy to uh, visualize. Um, probably we would want to have this kind of, uh, you know, presentation with our graph. But let's just say if you wanted to use the same tabulate command, but 
now you want to have these uh, value labels uh, and the values by both of these to but with the tabulate command you do not want to use the free command you want to use the tabulate command and you want uh, both of these so if you use the tabulate command uh, without this no label option uh, it generates uh, the, the, the default is to have value labels but if we use the the no label the default the 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 the, uh, the tablet command would generate uh, only the the values we want both of them so the command for this would be num label all so it would add uh, numbers to the labels so let's execute this command now let's tabulate gender ah you would see that it is somewhat similar to the um, to the presentation that we had with the free command we can um, do tabulate uh, tab one right and you would have uh, the table for gender as well as for question number four if we wanted to remove the value labels uh, sorry the value numbers uh, because they are actually added in the data view right so so the the value labels are actually changed so what this command had done it had um, added the value um, as a prefix of the value label if we wanted to go back to the original data then we would simply use num label uh, and would use the option remove and our data would look like the way it was okay so that was uh, just the one way tabulation uh, if we wanted to see how many uh, you know businessmen are there uh, that are male uh, so we want categorization based on two different variables so we want frequency based on two different variables for that we would use the same tabulate command but now uh, we would add two variables so if you saw previously with tabulate command we would just have one variable this would generate one way tabulation but if we wanted to have two way tabulation then we would add multiple uh, variables we can keep on adding okay so now this would give us the idea of how many salaried male uh, how many male students do we have in our data uh, how many total number of uh, obviously um, male and female students do we have there is one more command which is tab2 and what this tab2 would do it would generate all two way tables all possible uh, paired uh, two way tables so uh, we have four variables over here so it would generate it two way table for occupation and gender then it would generate a two way table for occupation and q1 then for occupation and q4 then for gender and q1 gender and q4 and lastly for q1 and q4 so it generated uh, the table as uh, i have explained for occupation gender occupation q1 and so on and so forth so all the uh, uh, possible two way tables that can be generated uh, had been generated um, before moving towards the graphs let me again show you these commands from the uh, from the menus uh, we have discussed this one way table and multiple one way tabulation if you want two way tables you can use uh, this command uh, and if you want all the possible uh, two way tables uh, the last command tab to that we just executed and uh, this is the option that you want to use okay let's see how do we uh, generate graphs for categorical variables normally uh, we would use either pie chart or bar chart to present categorical variables if we had continuous variable we would probably use line chart but for categorical pie chart and bar chart is the way to go uh, I would first show you from the command menu. We click on graph, then uh, we click on pie chart, 
and for now I want to use the uh, pie chart for the Q4 variable so I would uh, if I have different categories within a single variable, then I would use this option. If we have categories, um, you know, being converted into different variables, we have a data into wide format, I would probably use this, this option. But I have my data in long format, I have categories within a variable, a single variable, so I would select the variable um, Q4, and I click Submit. Okay, <clears throat> it would generate a, a pie chart, nice looking pie chart. Uh, and, <clears throat> but uh, what I want is, I want uh, the smallest, you know, category <clears throat> being over here and then it should move towards the largest category. So I want it uh, to be somewhat sorted. The option that I would use is the size order. It would uh, sort the variables based on uh, sort the, uh, the, uh, the 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 pies in this chart based on its size. So now we see the smallest pie is over here, and the largest one is over here. So the largest is uh, the agreed, and the smallest is strongly disagreed. For the question number four, whatever the question number four is. Probably I would want to exclude the missing observation. I would use this option and it would give me the pie chart uh, excluding the, the missing observation. The sort option you have just seen and we uh, the, for to remove the missing observation we would use uh, C4. But probably graphs can be easily you know uh, created using the menus rather than from uh, from uh, command. Let's generate a bar chart. We would have a bar chart for, for frequencies. So we would use this option and the categorical variable, let's use Q1 this time. Let's generate this graph and it's a nice looking graph, but we want to play with some, you, you know, we can, um, instead of having these value labels as uh, horizontal, we can probably have them vertical. It's, I know it's a bad idea in this case, but uh, sometimes you might need it. Uh, we can change the label size, probably we would uh, have small label sizes. Uh, and we can play with other options over here. But the idea of this video is to give you um, some knowledge of how do we work with the, the categorical variables. Thanks for watching the video.